But scattered around the country, a few lonely souls were convinced that slavery was a crime against God and man. And in Boston, one of them was coming to understand that God intended he do something about it. William Lloyd Garrison felt that he was destined to do great things, but he had no idea how to get there. In 1828, he was 22 years old, newly arrived in the city from his hometown of Newburyport. Garrison's father, a seaman and a drunk, had abandoned the family when Garrison was two years old. Plunged into poverty, Garrison's mother left her children for years on end as she looked for work. But in their time together, she managed to drum a fierce Christian conscience into her son. William Lloyd Garrison's religious background was not just a background. It was at the core of who he was. It was an indwelling spirit inside of him that constantly thought about making God's will come into being on this earth. Shortly after arriving in Boston, Garrison happened to meet an itinerant publisher who was raising money for his one-man anti-slavery newspaper. Garrison was horrified by descriptions of the slave pens where men, women, and children were held awaiting shipment further south. And he began to think that ending slavery was the cause that could give meaning to his life. 